Hi there, today I would like to share with you in how to preview your LODs in Autodesk Maya. But before the demonstrations, I hope you have already grasped the core idea of why we need to prepare our game assets with different level of details. By and large, the approach of LOD is about being optimized and it is quite similar to the philosophy of zero waste stage. For instance, to render a terrain in real time, it is simply not sustainable for the machine to maintain the same high amount of vertices when it is being rendered from far, far away. Should this terrain was being rendered in a lower end device, the CPU will be peak and hit with unnecessary draw calls and subsequently causing the frame rate to drop. Such performance issue can actually be managed if we apply the technique of LOD as part of our design. The method of LOD will be enable us to specify the level of details that to be rendered in accordance to a set of hierarchical criteria. And as what we had discussed earlier in the article, there were several different kinds of LOD techniques out there. And the most common one would be the hierarchical method, or simply the HLOD, as it is much simpler to be implemented if compared to other procedural approach. Now let's move on to Autodesk Maya, and see how easy it is to set up a LOD preview. First, you will need to prepare your game asset with four different polygonal resolutions and set them on its own layers with the same exact positions. Remember, all the models must be properly labeled with the right naming convention, and the default base mesh is always tied with the extension of X0. Next, turn on all the layers to be visible before you calling up the outliner. In the outliner, select the models by hierarchical sequence. Then, go to the edit menu and choose level of detail in group. Once done, you will see a new LOD grouping node being created and all the models that we have selected earlier were listed in there. With the LOD grouping node still in selection, you will need to go to your channel box and manually specify the distance of change. The numeric value that you are going to enter is subjected to the overall scaling of your mesh. It won't be the same as what I'm doing here, but as a start, as long as you input a series of incremental values, it will be fine. Now with everything in place, simply jogging around with a scroll view of your mouse, or zoom in and zoom out as you like. You shall see your game asset cycling itself with different resolutions that relate to the camera's focal length. I hope you will find it is useful for you to inspect your own LOD models before sending it off to the game engine. Thank you.